So it looks like Tracy has a brand new boyfriend and every single time we try to go ahead and visit her inside her room, she tends to lock the door with him inside of it. So why exactly does Tracy always lock the door when he comes over? So um, how about we uh, take a peek for ourselves? <laughs> My name is Hernando and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day so far, man. Now, today's video, we are going to be focusing over towards Tracy. Now, this girl right here is a very interesting character in Grand Theft Auto 5. Not a lot of things you actually pick up throughout the story mode, but the things behind the scenes that you gotta really pay attention to, this girl right here has a whole lot of them. You guys know that she runs her own little, uh, sexual hotline where people can go ahead and call her you're through to tracy sucks if you're horny leave a message and i'll listen to it live on cam the hotter the better and she can go on dates with them and she even has um loads of fun with those clients with her uh door locked <laughs> hey man Jay. whoa 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 yeah. plus we're taking you out of here Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey! Ah, fuck, man! I like him! What's the problem? You're such a jerk! Yeah, so basically, Tracy is kind of a little, uh, kind of a little, uh, Fl flimsy girl who likes to uh, do lots of sexual things and basically in this random encounter that only happens very rarely if you go towards Michael house you can actually spot her with one of her clients if you go upstairs here's exactly what happens just go away now god Now, it doesn't take a scientist to know what exactly Tracy is doing. Today, we are going to be finding out what exactly is happening behind that door. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys probably seen this throughout your time playing GTA 5 story mode. But the problem is, you can't really find out what's behind that door without using some type of hacks or mods. Well, since we're doing this on the PC, we have the power to do that. We're basically going to go ahead and no clip inside to see what Tracy is doing with that random client she has brought to the house. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be making our way all the way towards Michael's house. We're going to be using our mod menu and we're going to be breaking in. Hopefully it's not something too explicit. I really don't want to see some guy's junk uh, in the screen. And I don't know, man, who knows what's going to happen. But let, let's, let's get on over towards Michael's house. Alrighty, guys. So here we are at the crib. Now, Michael's house is a very interesting place because there are loads of random events that just happen throughout the day of Grand Theft Auto 5. Sometimes you see Amanda doing something weird, Jimmy, but I gotta go ahead and say the random scenes that happen with Tracy are very, very, very rare. Now, if you guys come here, you will see that Tracy's door is open and she's just here chilling, talking to her friend. But just in case you guys want to go ahead and do this for yourself or want to know exactly how you actually trigger this random event, all you need to go ahead and do is just keep coming towards Michael's house in and out, in and out, in and out throughout the day. And I gotta say, this is really hard, but if you do it for a couple of hours, eventually you will see Tracy right there in front of her door with the random client. And I gotta say that this took me 
freaking forever, man. Like literally forever and ever and ever. But you know, I couldn't really get it, so I had to use some old footage. But basically, I will be showcasing to you what exactly will happen if you guys go ahead and get this scene triggered and you use the mod menu to basically wall breach inside. I love you, Trace. JC! Yes, yes, yes. I was shocked as well. Who would have thought that that would happen? Oh my god. So basically, what went on was we wall breached inside Tracy's door. But when we went ahead and checked out what was going on, it looks like her client was nowhere to be seen. And as well, we see Tracy just standing in front of her door doing absolutely nothing. You gotta go ahead and wonder, wh where exactly did her client go? Was he like hiding in the closet making all those noises or uh, was it just a rude? Now, the reason why I actually wanted to go ahead and make a video like this was because that this is something that everybody's been talking about in forums, threads, literally everywhere talking about uh i, I want to see what exactly is going on in that in that in that bedroom of tracy what is going on i want to open the door i always wanted to go ahead and check it out but the main problem was actually going ahead and having a mod menu literally available at the time where this really random really rare encounter actually goes ahead and happen and you know now that we actually had the two together and we actually did it we can see that we were really disappointed about we didn't really get what we wanted or thought was gonna go gonna go ahead and happen, which is very unfortunate. Now, what I found really interesting when I went ahead and uh, kind of observed and studied this for the last couple of hours, um, I actually noticed if you go ahead and do this with a different character such as Trevor or Franklin and you go up to uh, Michael's house, you can actually trigger this event without Michael being available. But the only problem is that you can't really get Tracy to uh, close the door in your face for her to uh, start doing all those random moaning noises. Like it only happens if you're playing as Michael where she'll slam the door in your face. But if you're playing as a different character, she won't really do that. You'll just stare at the at the client and Tracy just touching each other all, all at once. But if you just quickly switch to Michael, then you'll go ahead and get her to uh, start activating the, the, the sex noises. <laughs> now what was really strange about this was the fact when we actually were in inside Tracy's room when we glitched inside you get to hear that the audio clip of her moaning was looping over again and again and again but her mouth wasn't actually moving whatsoever she was just standing still like a freaking statue and it was kind of strange actually and the fact again that the the client was nowhere to be seen honestly I thought we were gonna get like a secret little thing for those people who actually do glitch and hack and all that type of stuff when we actually go inside because you know rockstar they actually like to do lots of secret things in the game hide stuff that we really don't know about and i can clearly tell you right now not every secret in the game itself has been discovered it's a really big game and i doubt that we all found every single one of them and I gotta say, I'm, again, I'm, I'm very disappointed. I honestly thought we were gonna get something to show up. No, nothing too sexual. Maybe Tracy. Uh, I don't. I don't know. It's gonna be too explicit if I if I describe it. <laughs> But anywho, people, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to support the video by dropping that blue thumbs up. You'll be ever so much appreciative. And as well, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys are brand spanking new. See you guys later. Peace out and stay safe, guys.